Princess Anne has a unique bond with Lady Louise Windsor that is not shared by the rest of the royal family. Princess Anne's unique bond with Lady Louise Windsor isn't the only thing the royal aunt and niece have in common. Princess Anne, who recently celebrated her 73rd birthday in private, will not return to her well-deserved rest until August 29th. She could spend some holidays with King Charles and Queen Camilla at Balmoral Palace, and it is thought that other members of the royal family could do the same, possibly including her niece Lady Louise. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Although they don't spend much time together, Princess Anne and Lady Louise Windsor share a unique bond that they don't share with anyone else in the royal family. Although she is usually known only as Princess Anne or Princess Royal, she was christened by her longer full name, Anne Elizabeth Louise. She and Lady Louise Windsor are the only members of the royal family, whose first or second name is Louise. According to Namebury, Louise is the feminine form of Louis, which, on the other hand, has been a very popular first and middle name among royal families for many generations. It supposedly means famous warrior, a powerful name and a very flattering choice for both Princess Anne and Lady Louise. Many other royal women have other names, as do their more distant relatives, such as Queen Alexandra and Queen Mary. With that in mind, Princess Anne may be given the middle name Louise in honor of another royal princess named Louise. Princess Louise is the sister of King George V and great-aunt of Queen Elizabeth. It is also possible that Louise was chosen after Prince Philip's great-grandmother, Princess Louise of Hesse Castle. Lady Louise Windsor may also be partially named after her closest relative, Princess Anne. Besides the bond of name they share, there is another connection between the two. Princess Anne and Lady Louise Windsor faced a sea of change when Princess Eugenie's second son was born earlier this year. This is because they were both born before 2011, thus putting Ernest Brooks Bank in line of succession to the throne. The Succession to the Throne Act 2013 changed the law so that female royals born after 2011 would no longer be passed over for their brothers. Both Princess Anne and Lady Louise are below their younger brothers in the line of succession, with the Princess Duchess only one behind her niece at 17 years of age. However, she was an excellent and loyal royal woman, and understandably has a lot of trust and respect for King Charles. Unlike her aunt and parents, Lady Louise does not have to be a full-time royal mistress herself, but is currently preparing to start her second year of a degree in English literature at the University of St. Petersburg. Andrews Princess Anne was the first British royal to go to school, so perhaps she's very impressed to see her niece continue her education.